Noob Hydroponics. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I'll just start the video with that. Just enough YouTube, watching other videos, some Facebook groups. And uh, so what I did here is I already did a video on this, but I 3D printed this um, hydroponics station tower thing. And down in here, I've got a uh, like an 800 gallon per hour pump and some tube. And I've already added, so what I did was I printed this up and I'm gonna put, I got some strawberries right there. I'm gonna put some of those strawberries in here and see if I can get them to grow. I guess the first thing is everybody wants to know what, what do you use? What kind of nutrients? At least that's what I asked myself. What kind of nutrients do I need to use? And I wound up buying this. Um, all I did was get on Facebook and I searched uh, strawberries because that's what I wanna grow, strawberries, nutrients. And this popped up more often than not. Um, the dosing instructions are on the back, but it's a, a teaspoon, tablespoon, teaspoon. It's a teaspoon of this junk, which is thick. It's like mud. Um, it's like mud. I didn't expect it to be muddy, but it's just like a jug of mud. I got this on Amazon. It was like 25 bucks or something like that. So kind of pricey, you know. Um, I'm spending a lot of money here to grow strawberries. So I got some of that. And then the next thing you're going to need is uh, I bought some rock wool. I think this stuff's called. It comes in these cubes. And I've already got one stuff down in here. Just kind of playing with it just to see. I don't know anything about this stuff. Okay, you're learning with me. I'm not an expert. Oh, so here's my plan. I got three gallons of nutrient in here. Hit it with one teaspoon, three teaspoons of the mud. I got some rock wool. I got this timer on Amazon. Don't know anything about it other than the reviews. So a timer, you need a timer because there's some debate about whether or not you should... Um, I don't know if it's even debate, but there's some discussion about how long to run your cycle, right? So you're gonna put you're gonna put water through here 24 hours a day. You're gonna put water through here every 10 minutes. You got to keep the roots wet. You got to figure out what you're gonna do. And I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna run it 24 hours a day. I'm gonna run. I don't. I haven't settled on a schedule yet. But this is gonna be my schedule scheduler. This will control it. I'm gonna plug it in over. I got some plugs over there. I'm gonna run an extension cord. This bucket is gonna live right over there in the sun outside. This is PTG, so it can be used outside in the sun. So that's the plan. So I'll show you real quick. I think I did it in another video too, but we'll plug this in. Let me show you. Plug that in. And you can hear the water flowing. So this portion right here is a cap. I'm not gonna take that off. This is the dispenser unit. You can see my muddy water flowing. And then each one of these is getting some, you can see it's already wet. This rock wool that I just laid in there is soaked. Unplug this. What I think I'm gonna do is pluck, you've got to pluck it. I'm gonna go pluck one of those uh, strawberry plants. And I'm gonna bring it over here into the rock wool and I'm just going to surround the roots with the rock wool and I'm going to shove it back in there and I'm not going to use all my strawberry plants because I don't want to kill them I don't know if this is going to work I have no idea but I've wanted to try it so I'm trying it so I'll tell you what So what I'm going to go do real quick, I need to, from what I can understand, is you want to rinse, you want to get all the, all the dirt off. Um, so I'm going to go get a bucket, I'm going to rinse, I'm going to pull probably one or two more, and I'm going to go rinse them. I'm drowning my strawberry plants. And again... I have no idea if this is the right way. No idea. So if you follow me and your stuff dies, I'm just taking you along my adventure here. 
right. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I just hit the camera on it. Cause I'm gonna take this rock wool and I think I'm just gonna lay, so strawberries like to be planted up to the crown, right? So I'm gonna try and play the crown here like that. Again, no idea, I'm gonna take, I'll tell you what, I'm losing nutrients, that water isn't free right there. So I'm gonna do this over the top so that my nutrients, I'm recycling, see? Kids singing. All right, so I want this to be down in here like that. So I gotta fill that with some rock wool. We're gonna fill this with rock wool. Again, zero, oh, my nutrients, zero idea if I'm doing this right. So this is, you know, you see the meme on Facebook or something, I just spent $170 to grow 25 cents worth of vegetables. I didn't spend 175, but I'm spending some money right here. All right, so, did you hear that hummingbird? A humming hummingbird, that hummingbird. So what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna set it, set it down in there like that. Again, Jeff is not a professional. That, that's not good. It's not, it's coming out. Oh man. See, we're learning together, folks. So my strawberry has come completely out of the rock wool casing that I built it. All right, so we're gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna put, this is probably where those ceramic beads that I need to order would come in handy, but what I really, what I'm trying to do is I want that root to get down in there. And right now, I'm not getting the root in there. All right, so what if we lay the root in there and then backfill with rock wool? What do we think there, people? I have no idea. I just, and I'm also trying to keep, you know, strawberries like that crown above the ground or however they like it. I'm not a strawberry expert either. So if I say something dumb, I warned you. Oh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Whoop. Put your cap on, dummy. Hey, there we go. So I think we're getting nutrients at this point. Got them all over my leg and the deck, but we're making them. So let's see. I mean, that's getting water. The roots are right there. I don't know if you have to move these things as this plant grows. I don't know if that needs to be moved out. I wouldn't think so. top shelf. I would say I can't believe I shot water all over my porch, but I can totally believe it. All right, so I'm just stuffing these in there to get them wet. Seems like it worked better already moistened. All right, so let's get another plant. All right, so this plant here has a much better root system than, than that one did. I don't know if I just pulled that one and lost the roots. So that one may die. 
but I have seen and heard and people say strawberry plants like their roots to be disturbed. I don't know what really that doesn't make sense to me, but I'm not a horticulturalist. All right, so again, just cleaning off the roots. Getting, they say you want to clean them off. I don't know who they is, but that's what they say. So I'm going to deem that good enough. I don't know. Surely that's good enough. I mean, we're just growing things here, right? Yes. All right. I'm going to leave that in the water. I'm going to pull this out and get this ready. I'm going to turn that off just so I'm not talking over it. Pull it up a bit. Does that get it out of frame? I don't know what's happening here anymore. Oh man, if this whole video is blurry, we're just out of luck. All right, so right now, I'm at three rock, well, rock wool cubes per, per thing here. Just if you're counting, if you're keeping score at home. I'm gonna go with a fourth one, a brand new one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just split it. I've got little holes in them, so I guess to make it easier, but stuff feels like fiberglass insulation. That's probably all it is. I don't know what, I don't know the makeup of this stuff. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap that there. I'm gonna break these up. Kind of wrap that. Like that. And then I'm just gonna stuff it down in here. Top shelf with this one too. All right, put your cap back on before you start the stuff up. And now that one's getting watered. All right, so I was going to do six, but I don't want to kill all of them, so I'm going to do one more. This one, I shouldn't have done this one. I'm already upset. This one's got berries on it, working on it. So I probably just killed this one too. All right, let's take our wet hands and unplug that. I'm gonna let this drip down in there. This one's got the best roots of all of them. It's a good plant. I probably shouldn't have used that one, but we'll find out what happens. So I've got three varying degrees of plant growth, maybe. Again, I'm just kind of pushing this where it looks like it should sit in the ground. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking that the probably the better way to do this is to have the rock wool already wet. But, you know.
cap back on. Just start her up, get it some water. Now I've got to figure out what I'm going to grow in these. I don't know what to put in here. Or maybe I don't. I just don't want to kill all my strawberries just in case this doesn't work. Although, if I put all strawberries in there, I might have a bunch of strawberries. All right, so. I decided that since this is a project and I didn't get but like three strawberries off those strawberries last year, I don't want to kill all my strawberries because they're going a lot better this year than they did last year. Um, I decided to take one tower down and I'm going to go with uh, three and just see what happens. So I guess we could talk about real quick how much money I've got in this. Um, so I already had the pump. The pump's going to run you. Call it $25 on Amazon for like a Vivo Green or Vivo whatever, something. Um, that's what I was going to buy, but I remembered I had this pump um, from something else. So I went ahead and used it. So you're going to pay $25 bucks for that. You're going to pay another, let's call it $30, just to make, so you're not shocked, surprised. $30 for the pump. I don't, I think you can get one for $17.99, but $30 for the pump. This was like 26, 25, 20 something. It was 20 and then maybe like 29 with tax. So we're at 60. And then if you don't have a bucket, you're gonna have to go buy a bucket. Bucket's gonna run you five bucks maybe at Home Depot, at Lowe's. I don't know what the, I don't know what they sell for. Um, but you're gonna have to get a bucket. You go down to Firehouse, Subs, maybe they'll give you a free red one. I don't know, but bucket. Another, call it five bucks. So pump 30, fertilizer 30, we're at 60, 65 with the bucket. And then you're gonna need a timer. Again, this was under $20, but we'll call it 20, so $85. And then if you're 3D printing this, with a 3D printer and you own the 3D printer, you're gonna spend 20 bucks for a roll of filament. Um, and dependent, that'll vary based on how many of these you print. If you print a three, stack like this you can do it with one, one roll of filament if you do six like i previously did um you can do it with a roll and a quarter you can't quite do it with a roll um and that's so that's variable and you're gonna need some hose um you know i don't know if to call it 10 bucks at home depot or somewhere i had that from a previous project so you're looking at 100 bucks and then the next question is how many strawberries can i buy for 100 bucks Probably more than this will give me, obviously. Um, but I don't know. Then you can't make your own strawberries in the backyard and pay, you know, like, does a dollar fifty strawberry taste better than a three cent strawberry? Probably not. But that's what we're doing here. So those are the numbers. So if that is, you know, the meme about I just paid $125 to get my 25 cent fruit is probably right. But it's fun and that's half the adventure of life. You know, hey, I check it out. I 3D printed something. And I'm growing plants in it. But anyway, all right then.